Good morning, guys. So, this will just catch you up. Last night was a little challenge. We got into camp, got some stuff set up. We ended up having to pick uh, from one or two camps just because, and, and pre-made campgrounds because they were. It, it was getting late in the day and I wanted to be able to get firewood and I wanted to get everything set up just before dark uh, because I knew it was gonna be cold. And, and I think, um, I think tonight it got down, or last night it got down to like 18 or so degrees. And so I wanted to be sure that I was prepared for that. And and, and the camper was prepared. Um, that way we didn't have any, any any more unexpected issues pop up. We did have one pop up last night and I'll show you guys that here in a second. But yeah, this is here. I mean, this is what it is. It's, uh, it, you can see it, it's, this is somewhere on campground uh, in the Via Vidal uh, unit, but it's still part of the Carson National Forest. And so these little spots come, you know, with these camp tables and they have these really nice fire rings that you saw us camp uh, cooking on last night, uh, which was real nice. And so um, that made it easier because last night, instead of having to set up the whole kitchen, I was able to cook right on that grill, uh, make a fire, get the fire going and then cook right on the same grill that I made a fire on. So we kept warm and uh, it served as a kitchen as well. That made it nice. Propane and acetylene don't really run really well at high elevation. And we're about, I think around 9,400 uh, feet, something like that, 92, 9,400 feet. So that was, that was really a godsend. And somebody left it better than they found it because when we got here, over here in front of the gladiator, you can't really see it, but where that wood is, there was an entire pile of pre-cut, uh, pre pre-split wood. So that really helped, really did. Anyway, let me show you what we found. Last night when we got here, um, everything was fine. And then kind of setting up camp, getting everything set and this entire window just shattered. Uh, it had a small hole. And I'm assuming, just like this one, taking a rock, uh, going to Maris Adventure Park, there outside of Claude, Texas. Um, I think this was another victim of the tires. You can see, as you come up on them, how much they stick out. So, I'm going to have to do some, some kind of modification that acts as a, I, I don't know what you'd call it, like a semi-mud flap, semi-rock uh, barrier or something, because that's two windows now, and it's, <laughs> I think, pretty soon. <laughs> I might as well just go ahead and replace all these windows with Lexan and not have to worry about it. But that's what we found, and this morning... We are getting some copy going. Uh, and after that, we're going to see where the day takes us. I know it's going to take us to Greeny Peak. I know it's going to take us into Red River and Angel Fire. And then after that, we're going to see what uh, next really epic campsite we can find. I will mention... We are absolutely alone up here. We haven't, uh, all yesterday and all today, or even this morning, no cars, and yesterday, a total of two cars. So I know people don't really, really love winter camping, but early, windy ca early, early winter camping really uh, is nice because you've got the entire place to yourself. So make that a consideration, guys. Okay guys, you can see, all packed up. He's ready to go, we're ready to go. We're gonna see what we can't do to go get into the mountains. I think we're gonna head to, um, from here, Greeny Peak. Um, do a little thing for our friends. They were married on Greeny, or they were engaged on Greeny Peak uh, several years ago, and so we're gonna bury something for them and show homage to their marriage and and let them know that it'll always exist on top of Greeny Peak. And uh, 
anyway, he's a dear friend of mine. They both are. So we're going to do that, get get going. Probably stop in Red River so for maybe some kind of snack, uh, some of their great coffee, and then head on down the road to hit the trail just south of Angel Fire. So anyway, stay tuned, guys. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you guys some epic air up footage. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's the uh, speed plate system doing all four tires at one time. Uh, first tire, fast one, 150 PSI, 150 PSI, crank rate compressor, doing work. Um, I just wanted to show you the exit of this. Right there it says, thank you for visiting the Rio Castillo Park. Now this is the northwest corner of the park. Um, and this is where you finish. It's been an incredible journey, I'll tell you that. On this side of the park, when you look back at all that, uh, there's what's called Rio Castillo Park campgrounds. They're right on the river on uh, Rio Castillo Creek, and they are beautiful. They are literally, if you're looking for campsites that are on the water, your campsite and your fire, pre-made little fire ring that some early campers have already done are literally right at the water's edge so your fire is four or five foot from the, from the creek moving creek and it's all moving um, it's absolutely beautiful down here you're tucked in there it's nestled it is right off the road but there's very little traffic up here in the later parts of the year because it's cooler uh, so that's when I would say or suggest to, to make it a destination because right now back there it's super quiet we ran across some Audad and I'll show that in the video. It's beautiful, guys. I mean, absolutely beautiful. And these are one of these places that not a lot of people venture to. So, do it. See you soon.
So we ended up in Red River at the Red River Brewing Company, and it was absolutely incredible. Really, really good food. I was impressed, um, and it was a good time. We just did a quick stop before we ran up to Greeny Peak. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. And definitely the cocktails, because they were really good as well. We made it to Greeny Peak, but it sure was tight. That trail's made for baby razors. I could sit in this chair for a thousand years And watch the woods consume the neighborhood Watch the ambitions come and go Surround me and engulf me We could ditch the TV and spend a little more time Reading books and singing songs on the porch Sit here watching the daylight wane Leaving little chase And even less memories just want to be still I just want to So, I want to show you guys what I'm using. This is a maul. Uh, it's a splitter. It's a wide splitter, but it's a maul. And that's what you use to your actual splitting, not chopping. And you see how easy it makes that. So remember, the right tool for the job. So this is what we woke up to. Pretty much a blessing, right? These are the reasons why I do what I do and I share it with you guys. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for being a part of this journey. See you soon.